it's been, it's been a little while since I sat down and make a video. Uh -huh. Illiterate fuckery has entered the chat. Hey bitch, it's me again. What is up you guys? I'm back. Why am I shocked by that? Um, I want to say thank you for all the support that I got after my, you know, last sit down video about um, hating being transgender. I know it sounds really cheesy, but it took like a lot of courage for me to upload that. Um, and the support I got was overwhelming. Um, I'm so fucking grateful. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a YouTuber and I'm like... I want to win you guys for me or something. No, hearing your stories and your experiences really helped me and really made me feel heard and also made me feel like I'm making a difference. Like I'm not just... <laughs> it ki kind of switched, like flicked. Like I genuinely realize now that people hear me and people listen to what I say and that I can make a difference for people and that is honestly such a... such an amazing position. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Who am I? So yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart, um, my black, shriveled up, cold stone heart. <laughs> I am back with another transgender related video. Why? It's my substitute for personality, duh. <laughs> also, I want to say thank you for all the lovely comments I got on Give Me A Minute and all the support. It really just made my mood a whole lot better and there's a lot going on at the moment in my life, but yeah, I'm really grateful for how those two things turned out um, and it's all thanks to you, so thank you. Today I'm gonna be talking about why straight guys are attracted to trans girls. You might be thinking, Robin didn't you like, make this video like six months ago? Six months ago? It's not six months ago. It's not six months ago, it's like a few months ago. Um, I made this video called, Is Dating a Trans Girl Gay? This is kind of a continuation on that topic. Um, yeah, I really wanted to elaborate on this topic because it's something that really interests me and I have gone like a lot of guys come up to me and ask, I'm really into a trans girl or uh, attracted to trans girls, but I still consider myself straight and is that true and can I date this trans girl without being gay and stuff like that? The answer is yes, like I've explained that in that video, I put it in the like info thing. Is that up there? Or am I pointing at the wrong side? You get what I mean. <laughs> that is a topic that really interests me and also really affects me because, you know, I'm trans, I'm a trans girl. There is a lot of pressure on straight men to not like trans girls, you know? Like liking trans girls as a straight man is looked down upon which is a really weird contrast because if you look at, for example, pornography, trans girls were referred to in very derogative ways in porn and I... It's, it's a little cringy, like, it's a very popular genre among straight men but at the same time, a lot of straight men, and sometimes even the same men, are judging to other straight men for dating trans women and I want to make a difference in that because I just think that's kind of unfair it's not weird, it's not a fetish girls like me, we're really not that different beside, besides what's in between our legs, you know? a very big reason as to why straight men are attracted to trans girls and I'm not saying all straight men um, there's no obligation to date a trans girl if you don't wanna, like, that's fine then this video doesn't apply to you and you can leave or you can continue to watch if that interests you rock on! <laughs> so the reason why straight men are attracted to trans girls it's simply because a lot of trans girls just look like biological girls we really don't have a lot of mannerisms that masculine men have also this really doesn't have to do anything with chromosomes or biology if it makes any sense in my opinion sexuality is kind of fluid it's more like on a spectrum or on a scale you know the kinsey scale we radiate like feminine energy feminine energy this might also be the reason why a lot of straight men are not attracted to butch biological women because they radiate a certain masculine energy if i'm getting that right if I'm getting that right, I'm not trying to get, like, <laughs> the lesbian community against me. So sorry if I said anything wrong. That really plays a part in it because there's really more to someone's gender than what they have in between their legs. And that doesn't apply for biological sex because biologically seen, I am a biological male. But 
still there's a lot of straight guys attracted to me. That makes me sound s I ho that makes me sound so selfish. The attraction you have to someone is not because of their chromosome. You you can't tell me that a straight guy would go up to a biological girl and be like, mm, she has very suitable chromosomes and genes. I will mate with her, you know? <laughs> like, that is not how dating goes. In dating, often the thing you see first is the way someone looks and the way someone behaves. And then comes the personality and that is the thing you notice secondly and you kind of fall in love or like are attracted to either two or two at the same time. So it's not really about chromosomes at all, even if XY plus XY might be technically homosexual. It's not like I'm an expert on this, this is just from my experience and what some guys have told me. Also a big part is curiosity. Curiosity to experimenting with your sexuality but with a feminine person. There is nothing wrong with that in my opinion, but there is like a line between experimenting with a trans woman and fetishizing a trans woman because if you fetishize a trans woman, you're kind of separating her from women and kind of making her a sexual object and that is really, really hurtful and I really advise you not to do that because that has hurt my feelings, that has hurt a lot of trans girls' feelings and it kind of makes you feel used. So please don't do that, please be respectful. So I think it kind of is about curiosity. Not every time because sometimes you meet a girl and you find out later that she's trans and then it's not about like searching out a trans girl, it's really about the person you fall in love with. But like when straight guys search out trans women, that is about curiosity. Please ask for consent. Um, please check up with the trans women you're doing stuff with because dysphoria can really make sexual experiences difficult for us and please keep that in mind and be careful. What I also notice is that a lot of straight guys are afraid to date a trans girl because the outside world makes it so fucking hard for them to have a genuine relationship with a trans woman. And I think that's so sad, like, who are you to dictate who someone else dates? If a guy really likes the trans girls and they're dating, you don't have anything to say about that. If you have like a bad opinion on that, because that is not your business. A lot of it comes from hypocrisy and that really just Oh, that that annoys me. Story time, mini story time. I did like this Q&A on my Instagram story and I had like this answer and was really unrelated to the question. So I was like, mm, from like this guy saying, you're hot as fuck, like blah, 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 blah. And then I looked at his account. He had like a picture, a meme, like saying like, you know what's great about conservative women? No penis. penis. But you're my Instagram, so you're just... You're just scared and you're projecting that onto a discriminated group of people and that is so toxic, like, stop that immediately. If you're into trans girls, just let it be. Don't, don't make us feel bad about being trans because you are not content with who you are and who you are attracted to. Thank you, if that person is watching. <laughs> and I have felt really, really used because some, like, people wanted a she-male adventure or something and that is not me like don't try me so really the moral of the story is if you are attracted to trans girls please treat us like you would a regular girl um and please treat regular girls right yeah, yeah. <laughs> just treat us right and also accept that maybe your sexuality is a little bit more fluid than just 100 percent straight and it's fine it's fine i am bisexual as fuck like, I had a really hard time accepting that I don't only like boys, but now I'm like, <laughs> bitch. Oh, that, that was You have only one life to live, and I, I know that's cliche to say, but you have only one life to live, and if you're really spending most of your life hiding your affection for someone because you are afraid of what the outside world thinks, I think that is a waste of time, and I think you need to just do your thing. Again, there's not- it's it's not that different to date trans girls from regular girls um, aside from the dysphoria. That- that is very prominent. Um, my dysphoria is very prominent. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. I- I can't see why that would be a reason for guys not to um, 
want to date trans girls or if they want kids or stuff like that or if they're simply not into a trans girl that's fine but if you are into a trans girl but you judge other straight guys for being into trans girls while you yourself are into trans girls please stop that and please learn to love yourself because it's fine it's fine and also you don't have to be extra nice to us or like extra affectionate just talk to us like you would to a normal girl and then it's fine like the guys that did that to me you know just treated me like a normal girl those are the guys those are those are the males to meet with if you will Ew. Ew. So this video was a fucking mess. Um, I don't know if it explained anything. I really enjoyed making it because I love sitting down in front of my in front of my phone. Um, if you enjoyed it, give it a give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, you know, I don't blame you. You. <laughs> you. Yeah, thank you for watching, um, and I hope to see you back on my channel. Bye! That was a mess! That was a that mess! Was a mess. <laughs>